Hey Gomes graduates, Mrs. Florent Corey here with another edition of our math puzzles. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has commented and shared out their thoughts on our puzzle from Tuesday. So today I wanted to take a few minutes to go over how to solve that problem and I'm going to give you a new puzzle which we will review on Tuesday next week. So remember our math puzzles are every Tuesday and Thursday and ELA fixits are on Monday and Wednesday. And I hope everybody has been tuning into their Google Classroom every morning to see what the question of the day is, schedules, and make sure you're reaching out to your teachers, saying hi, checking in, asking any questions that you have, all right? So, looping back to Tuesday's puzzle, which had to do with the disguise, with the mustache, and poker chips, and the lemons and the limes, Let's talk about this. And I believe, Chloe, you were the first person to get this right, so excellent job using your thinking skills. So, on puzzle time, the first line says, a poker chip plus the mustache disguise plus poker chip equals 240. I have no idea where to begin with that. So I move down to the second line. It says 270 equals the lemon lime plus the lemon lime plus the diamond. Again, I have no idea where to start with that. So let's move on. Diamond equals citrus fruit. Now that is something that is useful because if I know the diamond is the exact same as the citrus fruit and I go back to the line above it, the 270 equals citrus fruit plus citrus fruit plus diamond. I can divide 270 by three because I know the diamond and the citrus fruit are the same. So 270 divided by three equals 90. So I know that the diamond is 90. I know that the citrus fruit is 90. Now, if I look back to my top line, I still know nothing about the poker chip or the disguise. So I need to go down to the fourth line, which is diamond, which again, I know my diamond is 90. 90 minus 50 equals the disguise. Well, 90 minus 50 equals 40. So the disguise must be 40. So now I go back to the top line. I see that poker chip plus disguise plus poker chip equals 240. Well, I know that the disguise is 40. So 240 minus the disguise leaves me with 200. So poker chip plus poker chip equals 200. So if I take 200 and I divide it by two because of the two poker chips, that leaves me with a poker chip equals 100. So now I go down to the very last line. I know that the poker chip is 100, the disguise is 40, the citrus fruit and the diamond are both 90. So I know with my order of operations that my multiplication comes first. Do not start with addition. Start with multiplication, which means we are multiplying that disguise, which we know is 40, times the citrus fruit, which is 90. Once we multiply the two of those together, and you get that product, remember a product is the answer to a multiplication problem, you will then add the poker chip, which is 100, and the diamond, which is 90, to get your answer. So if you have not done that yet, I want you to solve that now and comment below in our comments today. So, looping back to our problem for today that I am posting to you. It has to do with superheroes, and we are gonna take a look at an area model with those superheroes. So I want you to problem solve, think about what are each of these superheroes worth? 
in accordance to the area model. Comment below with your thoughts and tune back in on Tuesday next week for the answer and a new problem. We miss you all so, so much. I hope you are enjoying the outside and I hope that you are tuning into your Google Classroom and lastly, most importantly, maybe, subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. We are posting awesome videos all the time and we wanna hear from you. Say hi, comment below. Let us know who is watching, tuning in because we miss you all. Have a good one.